Chris Stewart once again for BamaFever.com coming to you from Oxford, Mississippi as Alabama drops a heartbreaker to the Ole Miss Rebels 68-63 after really struggling to get to the free throw line, trying just two free throws and missing them both in the first half. Alabama was down five points and it felt you felt like they weathered the storm. A great start to the second half for Bama in this one as they would go from five down at the break to up 11 with about 13 and a half minutes to go. But Ole Miss would whittle the thing back down and with under about three minutes to play, they would once again take the lead. Controversial technical foul called on Anthony Grant would uh, certainly help the Rebels. And I think that may, I cannot remember the exact score at the time of that, but it was a tight ball game. The Rebels did take the lead and maintained some momentum, but it wasn't that technical that was the difference in this ball game. Far from it, Alabama was able to work it down inside with one, a one possession ball game uh, under about 30 seconds to go, had a turnover, didn't get off a, uh, a shot that could have given them a chance to tie. And to Ole Miss's credit, they would make their free throws and they made a bunch of them today going uh, 27 of 34 from the charity stripe. Alabama didn't shoot a very high percentage, and they didn't shoot a lot of them either, just 10 of 16 for the Crimson Tide in this one. That's very disappointing. However, the silver lining to this one today, the fact that the Florida Gators lost at Kentucky. So Alabama loses no ground in the overall SEC championship picture. The Tide is 11 and three. The Gators are 11 and three. And what a matchup on Tuesday night in Gainesville. Anthony Grant, where he was a part of Billy Donovan's staff for 10 very successful seasons, goes back for the first time as an opponent. And he'll go back with first place in the SEC on the line. Dead even, 11 and three, Florida and Alabama with just two games left in Southeastern Conference play. Gonna be a fun finish, or it could be for Alabama anyway. They need to find a way to get back in the win column after a not so pretty victory uh, against Auburn and then a tough, tough loss to the Ole Miss Rebels here in Oxford today. I'll talk to you from Gainesville where hopefully we'll be previewing the final game of the year, what could be a championship game for the Tide when they take on Georgia one week from today. But we'll talk to you from the O'Connell Center. I'm Chris Stewart, BamaFever.com.